Hey guys, I'm just setting up my mic here, so just testing everything out to make sure everything is good and golden. Everything working. I think my cameras are working. Okay. Hello, everyone. Welcome to a very late night stream of the game lobby. Um, today, I wanted to open up some packs. Um, those of you might remember, I got a Charizard um, from Celebrations, and I am giving away my Charizard for a trade for a card I want more. But I want to open Celebrations more to try to get another one <laughs> before I make this trade. So um, we got a Dragapult Prime box, which I have not opened one of these yet. Um, I don't remember where I snagged this one, but I, I'm gonna open a Dragapult Prime box. I've not opened one of these yet. And then I'm going to open an ETB. Um, hopefully we can pull a Charizard from it. Um, what did I pull my last Charizard from? I think I pulled my last Charizard from, not an ETB, but like one of these like V boxes. Um, so we'll see, I guess, if we can get something, something good. But, um, let me just pull up my chat here so I can make sure I am good and golden to talk to you guys and then we can switch over to the card cam all right so um, I'm not gonna start with the Dragapult box I'm going to start with the um, ETB um, just because it's a bigger box and I want to start with the ETB <laughs> um, but I of course have to first work on opening this ETB <laughs> but I brought scissors this time to open the plastic because I always have trouble getting that first like tear in the saran wrap. So I got some scissors. My, these scissors are very dull, but they should do the job. How is everyone tonight? This lovely Saturday night. Um, Possibly Sunday morning for some of you. It is Saturday night still for me. I usually don't stream this late, but I wanted to do a late night stream, so. Here we are. I've been looking for UPCs um, with little to no luck, as I think most people have. Um, UPCs are very hard to get a hold of, but I'm trying. For now, trainer boxes are what we're gonna open. Slide out the box. Put this somewhere where it's not gonna be in my way. This is our third ETB. So we haven't really opened too, too many of these yet. Yo, damn, thank you for the follow. Thank you for the follow. We got the player's guide. I'm just gonna put this stuff like in the box. We got the game tokens. All the packs are falling over. <laughs> got the dice. Another fat stack of energies. <laughs> got sleeves. We got stuff at the bottom of the box that's falling down. 
Fighter Fighters, hello, hey, hey, how you doing? Thanks for the, uh, thanks for the follow. How are you guys doing tonight? Got the sleeves. All the goodies. And of course, the uh, little promo card. Uh, we have three of these now. Um, not sure if I'm going to do, like, sending in one of these promos for a PSA 10. Um, but I'm, I'm gonna have a lot of these by the time Celebrations is over because I have quite a few trainer boxes left. But it's still a cool promo. Put that in the pull box. Now, of course, we have all of our lovely, lovely packs. Trainer boxes come with 10 packs of Celebrations, I believe, and then six or five? One, two, three, four, five normal TCG packs. So we got Darkness Ablaze, Darkness Ablaze, Vivid Voltage, Battle Styles, and Chilling Rain. Um, I'm going to start with the Celebrations. Fusion Strike pre-orders, or some out though. Yeah, uh, I have not started buying um, Fusion Strike yet. Um, I'm waiting for some booster boxes to go on sale. Oh, that's not actually true. I did buy some Fusion Strike Pokemon exclusive, Pokemon Center exclusive trainer boxes. I did buy the exclusive trainer boxes, um, but I'm not gonna go too heavy into Fusion Strike, um, just so you guys know. But yeah, we got 10 packs, and I'm honestly just gonna get right into ripping them, um, because I'm looking for that dang Charizard. <laughs> School sex says open, open, open. Yeah, let's let's just get the packs going. Throw away that. Give you guys the code card real quick. Chris says cut the card. No, that's not what we do here. We collect these bad boys. I don't cut cards here. I I like I like my Pokemon cards. I paid good money for these Pokemon cards. I'm not out here for clout. We open, we collect. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's enough of that dang code card. So let's actually open the pack now. First pack of the day, guys. First pack of the day. Reshiram. Groudon. Can we get a Charizard on our first pack? Nope, it's Ho-Oh. And Full Art Pikachu. Not bad. Not bad, not bad. I will take it. Gotta love a chonky chew. Put that in the box. Keep my table clean. <laughs> no cut, no cut, yeah. Maybe, oh, I accidentally opened a Darkness Ablaze pack. We'll just put that aside. I, I meant to grab a Celebrations pack. <laughs> Oops, oops, oops. <laughs> yeah, we're opening the celebrations box first, so. Do you have Pokemon SSV? Um, can you inform me what SSV is? Uh, it is very late at night and I'm very tired, so I might be just blanking on what SSV is. Um, I might have it, I might not. There's that code card for you guys. Grab it while you can. We'll get into the second pack of the night. All right. Cosmog. Russia Ram. Come on, big hit. Ooh, Mew EX. That's our second one. I love getting duplicates. Um, just because I like to have like options for which one has like the best centering. So I'm very happy to have a duplicate of this one. Uh, that's our second one, so that's awesome. Let's see if we get a double hit. Ooh, flying Pikachu, I'll take it. I actually just got a, I was opening Evolutions last night just like for myself. Um, and I pulled a flying Pikachu from Evolutions, which was pretty fun. I actually ran out of penny sleeves, 
So I'm using these penny sleeves that I got from G, uh, what was it, CGC. Um, and these penny sleeves are cool because they have a pull tab um, so that when you put them into the top loader, they're more easily um, retrievable. Yeah, so they just pull out. But um, I prefer the normal penny sleeves just for like collecting purposes, but for sending off to grading, I do prefer the pull tabs. But a Mew EX is a good way to start the day or night, depending on your time zone. Okay, um, I missed a lot of chat. I missed a lot of chat. Oh, Shiny Star V. That's what SSV is. Yeah, no, I have not gotten Shiny Star V yet. Um, I, what was it, like a week ago, I opened um, GX All-Stars, which was really fun. I love Japanese GX All-Stars. It's one of my favorites. Um, it's just such a fun set to open. Um, but... Yeah, I did not get a Shiny Star V. I want Shiny Star V. I want EV Heroes. Honestly, all of the Japanese sets are just really cool. I love the silver borders. They just are higher quality. Um, that's just my opinion. All right. Was this our third pack now? Hope we get something else good. I'm still looking for Reshiram Full Art and Rayquaza. So hopefully we get that today too. All right, Ho-Oh, Zekrom, Kyogre, and Flying Pikachu VMAX. Not bad. I will take VMAX. I actually don't have very many of the VMAXs. Um, I think I only have like one of each of the VMAXs, so I will take the duplicate. And I, I know I probably over sleeve my cards. Some people wouldn't even bother putting uh, the VMAX in a hard case, but I care, so I put it in a hard case. Favorite evolution. Um, when I was a kid, without hesitation, it would have been Umbreon, right? I love Umbreon. Um, I love Umbreon Shiny. Um, recently, I've been gaining an appreciation for Sylveon, though. I'm not going to lie. Um, I think Sylveon's just a really well-designed Pokemon. I know Sylveon's a little overhyped, but um, I do think it's a really well-designed Pokemon. And I think we're overdue for a new evolution as well. I think we need a dragon type or bug or rock. We just need a new evolution. It's been two generations now. We need a new one. Uh, we got some other follows. What was it? I missed it. Uh, Humble Vegeta, thank you for the follow. Very much appreciated, and thank you for everyone sending the likes, too. Uh, when the stream ends, check out Brandon and Logan. He's opening a heavy base unlimited pack. Ooh, that sounds interesting. I actually might check that out. That actually does sound cool. Uh, Daddy Moose, thank you for the follow. Thank you for the follow. Um, what is this? Pack number four? Let's see what we get. Resha Ram. Xerneas, Cosmoian, and last, last card. Ah, another full out Pikachu. Not quite anything good. This ETB, not hitting as well as my last ETB. My last ETB was pulling fire out of every pack. It was crazy. <laughs> this ETB is not giving us as much luck, but it's okay. Uh, do you like Pikachu? I like Pikachu. Uh, I especially like Fat Pikachu, Chunky Chew. I think he's cute. 
Um, I think he is like a little overprinted, but he is the mascot, so you can't um, fault him for being overprinted. Espeon and Umbreon bring back my childhood. Yes. I, I, I think the height of my Pokemon phase was Gen 2 with Espeon and Umbreon. Um, so that's like, I loved Gen 2 so much. How much was your box? Uh, I pay retail for all of my products, unless it's a product that I literally can't get my hands on, like Japanese boxes. Um, yeah, like, like my moderator said, I only pay retail when I can. Um, I very, very rarely pay over retail. All right, next pack, next pack. We got a Dialga. We got Xerneas. Oh, yes! Oh my gosh, this is my first Venusaur. I literally, I pulled the Charizard. I pulled the Blastoise. I couldn't get Venusaur. I finally got Venusaur. <sighs> thank you, thank you. Mwah. All right, what's underneath? Can we get a double hit? Ooh, Zacian V. It's a small double hit, but it's a double hit. I'll take it. I will take it. Uh, do I sell my packs for retail? I don't really sell anything at the moment. I was thinking about selling like my extra duplicate cards, maybe some bulk. Actually, I want to put this Venusaur in a hard case, actually, now that I think about it. Um, but... Yeah, I don't really sell, like, boxes. <laughs> um, but I do eventually want to get rid of some of my extra cards because I'm accumulating quite a small pile <laughs> with all of these live streams. I just haven't done it yet. But um, definitely stick around and see. I will eventually be selling um, cards I don't need for my master sets. I literally just want one of each card. One of each card, and I'm good. All right, next pack. Do you have any 1999 Charizards? Um, I do have a base set Charizard. Um, not the reprint. Well, I'm when I say reprint, I'm not. I'm saying like I don't have the Evolutions one or whatever. Like I'm talking base set Charizard. Um, it's the shadowed version and not the shadowless, and it's really beat up. But I do have, I do have a original Charizard. <laughs> like you, first non-scalper I've seen. Yeah, I, I don't. I'm a collector, guys. I am not a scalper. Um, like if I ever did breaks or anything it would be you know a fair price not hey i'm gonna sell a pack of celebrations for two hundred dollars who wants it no uh, i'd be fair with you guys if i ever did like a community break box or something um i'm not looking to make a profit i'm looking to you know collect cards and if i do sell some cards i will literally take the card money and put it right back into more cards <laughs> so that's just how I do things here. All right, let's open this pack before everyone gets antsy. We got Kyogre, Yvettel. Oh, yes! This is my first one of this, too. Freaking Rocket Zapdos. Oh, my gosh, I love this card. I have a base set, like, Zapdos. Uh, again, it's in really poor condition, but I have one. <laughs> That is so cool. I love this card so much. This is one of the few cards that I was missing from my master set. So that's awesome. Now, like I said, we need we need full art Reshiram and we need uh, the freaking Rayquaza too. Let's see what's underneath. Another Pikachu. Wow, we are pulling these full art Pikachus like crazy. But I'm so happy for that freaking Rocket Zapdos, guys. I love this card. Put it in a penny sleeve. Those penny sleeves are really hard to get out of the box, though. There we go. 
Be very careful with it. All right, we got two brand new cards tonight. We got the Venusaur and the Rocket Zapdos. So this ETB is doing us, doing us okay. Could be better, but it's doing us okay. Can't complain. Yeah, um, it, it's kind of, uh, what is it? it? It's bad streamer etiquette to do ads in another streamer's stream. Um, so try to refrain from doing ads. Um, I, I won't be too, like, perturbed about it, but um, that's just streamer etiquette. Um, where do you get your ETBs and stuff? I get my product from anywhere I can find it. Um, <laughs> I, I mean, Target, Best Buy, Barnes & Noble, Walmart, Pokemon Center, Walgreens, anywhere I can find it. <laughs> I check stores and I check online constantly. I check them constantly. <laughs> but yeah, that's why I get all my stuff for free. Or not free, but for retail, I should say. I get all my stuff for retail because I actually put in the work to find the product because I'd rather do that than pay scalpers. Because um, again, all of my product is for me, I collect it, um, I don't resell it. So buying from a reseller is gonna make it very hard for me to keep collecting because I will run out of money <laughs> very quickly. Very, very quickly. Um, if, you, if you're having trouble finding product, Celebrations is gonna be like the easiest thing for you to find right now because they're printing the crap out of it. Um, it, it, you'd really just have to learn the schedule of the stores in your area. All the, all the stores, they vary about what times they do things, but usually they have some sort of schedule. So you just have to be nice, don't come off mean, because the employees will hate you if they think you're a scalper, but you know. Usually if you're nice, they'll try to help you out. All right, we got like four packs left this ETB, so let's see if we can get that Charizard, Cosmog, Reshiram, Xerneas, and, ah, Flying Pikachu. What is my day job? That's a very interesting question right now. I am a full-time artist. <laughs> um, I have another TikTok. Um, uh, it's at Oscar Darla, um, if my mod could type that in the chat for me. Um, I am a full-time artist. So, you know, I do commissions, I draw Pokemon, I draw a whole bunch of other stuff, but um, that is what I do. If you guys want to see some art, go ahead and follow me on my art TikTok. It'd be very much appreciated. that code card out for you guys. Are these your private pools or rip and ships? Um, yes, private pools. These are my private pools. Um, I'm still working on my master set for celebrations. Um, I'm a couple cards away. I'm really not very, um, very far away from a master set. I already have the Charizard, but I need to pull a second Charizard because I'm working on actually trading away the Charizard that I do have. Um, cause I found a card that I want more than the Charizard, but I do want the Charizard still. So I have to pull a second one. <laughs> All right. Uh, third to last pack. We've got Russia Ram. Groudon, Holo, and oh, Zazamenta. I actually think that's a new one. I don't actually think I've got the Zazamenta yet. I keep pulling Zacian. So I will take that because I think that's a new one. I actually haven't worked on putting together my binder yet. It's just kind of a mental tally on which cards I need and which cards I have. 
Uh, I may be getting bored with celebrations, but I'm still looking for that Zard. Yeah, I feel you, Chrono. I, I feel you. Um, I think a lot of people have been um, getting bored with celebrations, but I honestly haven't opened that much product yet, so I'm not bored of it quite yet. So, um, what are you trading it for? Yeah, I'm trading my I'm trading my Charizard from Celebrations for the shiny Snorlax from Celebrate or the shiny Snorlax from Chilling Rain. Um, honestly, I've been having no luck with Chilling Rain. I don't think I'll be able to pull that card on my own. I think I'll be able to pull another Charizard though. So I'm. I'm making the trade and hoping for the best. How many gold Mews have you pulled? I've only pulled one gold Mew. I pulled one Charizard, one gold Mew, and one Umbreon. I've pulled one of each. So I already have all the big headers. Um, I even have the golden Magikarp. Uh, so I'm just working on those other miscellaneous pulls uh fancy pineapple thank you for the follow um let's open this pack real quick and i'll answer more questions you guys are coming at me sh very strong with these questions <laughs> uh reshiram xerneas cosmoian and lunala wow that's our first dud pack i think Uh, we got Cheerless Hail and I'm Confuzzled. Uh, thank you for the follows. Uh, and Ken Hickson, thank you for the follow. This is our last pack of celebrations from this ETB, guys. Um, so hoping, hoping for it. Hoping for that Charizard, guys. There's that code card for you guys. Um, roughly how many packs of celebrations have you opened? Um, this is my third ETB. So I've opened three ETBs. Um, I've opened a Sylveon, Charizard, and Pikachu box, and a Zacian box. So like four of the V boxes and three ETBs is what I've opened. I think that's all I've opened. I have not, op oh, and I opened the VMAX Pikachu box. Um, I haven't opened any of the mini tins yet, but I do have one of each of the mini tins to open. I just haven't done it yet. How many cards are in the master set? I think there's like 50, right? I think there's roughly 50 in the set because I there's there's 25 cards in the set and then there's like a 25 card subset so I think it's like 50 so not very much um, okay last pack from this set last pack Zekrom Kyogre come on give us one more big hit ooh Rockets admin not bad and Professor's research. All right, no, no big hitters. That's all right. As an artist, what do you pr appreciate most about the Pokemon card art? Um, it varies, honestly. Um, there's some art that is like super simplistic. There's some that's like super detailed. I think what I appreciate most is that there's just a really wide diversity in the artwork. And I appreciate that. All right, guys, on to the normal TCG packs. Do you pay MSRP? Yes, I pay retail for all of my English product. Um, Japanese product, I have to pay, you know, over market because I don't live in Japan. But 
nearly all of my English product I buy for retail. Um, haven't, haven't had any luck finding celebrations around here. Really wanted that UPC, but no shot. Everyone's having trouble with the UPC. I'm having trouble with the UPC and I check stores daily. So if you guys aren't finding the UPC, don't feel bad because it's a really limited product. Honestly, I think most people that are gonna want a UPC are gonna have to pay um, scalpers for them just because the scalpers are so intense on the UPCs. It's very unfortunate, but that's just how it is for the UPC. It's very sad. All right, this is our Darkness Ablaze pack. Hopefully we get that VMAX Charizard. That's what I'm hoping for. All right, we got Puppetar, Corvus Squire, Hiding Energy, Larvitar, Golet, Feebas, Purloin, Centret, Reverse Hollow, Angry, Angry Hippodoss, and ooh, that's a Hollow Dracovish. At least it's not a dud, it's at least a Hollow. I will take a Hollow. Check Dollar General Store, found 10 packs of celebrations. Yeah, I heard Dollar General, um, has cards. I've found cards at Dollar General before, um, a long time ago when I first started streaming, like six months ago, um, I was opening, um, I was opening Unified Minds, um, and I found all of my Unified Minds product from sell, er, from Dollar Generals, um, but lately my Dollar Generals are not holding Pokemon cards. I went to like five different stores and they're like, we haven't seen Pokemon cards in like months. So I don't know if my area is just not selling them anymore. Um, but you know, that just might be my area. Do you have the golden Charizard? Do you mean like the gold card out of the UPC? Because I do not have that. I have a lot of other Charizards, just I don't have the UPC one, unfortunately. Three, four to the front. Saw a guy walking out of Walmart with a cart full of Charizard and Sylveon boxes. Yeah, that's the problem with Walmart is they do not have limits on um, what you can buy which is why Walmart's very hard to get product from because someone could come in and buy literally everything. Um, thankfully, other places have better limits, but Walmart does not, unfortunately. All right, second pack of Darkness Ablaze. Let's open up this nice pack of Darkness Ablaze. We got Corva Squire, Vibrava. We got Rose Trainer. Torchic, Trapinch, Jigglypuff, Ducklet, Carablast, a Reverse Hollow, Diglett, and come on, Darkness Blaze, you never give me anything. Come on. Ooh, Cenoscorch VMAX. Not bad. I'll take it. I do have a bunch of these, though. <laughs> I feel like the only thing Darkness Ablaze ever gives me is Center Scorch. Like, I think I even have the Rainbow Stand of Center Scorch. It's like a curse. But, better than nothing. I can definitely use it for like trading, so I will take it. Sleeve up the Reverse Hollow. I, I'm, I am glad that there's like regular TCG packs in the celebrations boxes. It gives a little bit of variation um, 
to, you know, the same celebrations cards you keep pulling over and over again. So that's nice. Um, how many packs are you opening? Um, I've already opened nearly an entire celebrations ETB. Um, we pulled the Rockets Zapdos, we pulled Venusaur, and we pulled a Mew EX. Um, and then after I'm done with this ETB, I'm going to move on to a Dragapult Prime box. So that's got, you know, six packs in it or something. I'm not exactly sure, but it's got some packs in there. Uh, what kind of top loaders do you use? Um, I'm using these top loaders. They're called the Ultra Pros. Um, I honestly need to get more penny sleeves. I ran out. So I'm using these penny sleeves sent to me by CGC. Um, they have like a little pull tab on them. Um, and then I'm using just like, for like uncommon cards, I'm using like these semi like firm uh, penny sleeves. They give a little more protection than the like normal penny sleeves. So that's what I use to protect all my cars. All right, this is a vivid voltage pack, guys. So maybe Rainbow Chonky Chew. <laughs> maybe. We got a Mighty Yenna, a Beauty, Stone Energy, very colorful electric, Pineco. Mudbray, Puchiana, Charmander, Reverse Hollow, Metagross, and come on, give us a hit. Ah, Vaporeon, and it's not even hollow. Lame. It's okay. In the sleeve, you go. I'm working on my Vivid Voltage Master Set right now. Um, I already have the Rainbow Chonky Toot. Chunky Chew. Um, I actually have two Rainbow Chunky Chews. I have one PSA 10 and one that is ungraded. Um, but I'm trying to get all the other rainbows <laughs> from Vivid Voltage, which is proving to be challenging. <laughs> all right, uh, Battle Styles now. Gustavo, thank you for the follow. I still do not have the Sleepy Titar from Battle Styles, so. It'd be very nice to pull that, finally. <laughs> I'd be very happy with Battle Styles if it could give that to me. Um, I actually, I don't know if you guys saw at Walmart, they were selling Urshifu boxes for $20. It's eight packs per box, so you're getting each pack for $250 plus four promo cards, which is awesome. <laughs> I bought one of each, the red and the blue box. If you guys see them at your Walmart, definitely pick them up. It's a really great deal. All right, four to the front. <laughs> Good luck pulling a master set is impossible these days without spending thousands. Yeah, my Champion's Path master set, I opened 15 ETBs and did not get the Rainbow Zard. I pulled two of the shiny Zards, but not the Rainbow Zard. Um, the best thing about this community is you don't have to just pull every single card. Um, you can trade with people, you can buy cards, um, you know, you just have to know where to look without running into scammers. But um, I think I like to build community here. I, I definitely would like to set up some kind of, like, website so that, like, we can trade cards between each other. I think that would be cool. Um... That way we can all get the cards we want without spending thousands of dollars. All right, Battle Styles, what do you got for me? We got a Level Ball, a Single Strike Energy, Luxio, Gligar, ooh, a very cool Electabuzz, Bellsprout, Bronzor, Murkrow, Reverse Hollow, Dotler, that's my first ever one of these. I forgot this Pokemon even existed. <laughs> and down underneath. Oh, <gasps> Rainbow! Yes! Yes, Battle Styles, finally! Finally, 
battle styles gives me something. Thank you. Why is it always Bruno, though? I already have two of the regular full art Brunos, and now I get the rainbow. I can't pull anything that's not Bruno for this set. I swear. I'm, don't get me wrong, I'm happy to have him. I'm happy to have him, but <laughs> why is it always Bruno? <laughs> oh my gosh, let's very carefully sleeve this bad boy up. Oh, goodness gracious, Battle Styles, putting me through the ringer. <laughs> In the sleeve you go. Yeah, that's nice. That That's definitely a really nice card. This is my first ever rainbow from Battle Styles. I don't know if, how long they're going to keep doing the rainbow rares. Um... Like, I like the Rainbow Rares, but I think they're getting, like, a little overdone at this point. I think they need to do something else <laughs> for, like, the next set. Um, I don't know. That's just my opinion. A <laughs> person in chat named Bruno's cries. I'm sorry, I'm just so sick of pulling Bruno, but, like, I'm happy to finally have the Rainbow at least. Now we pull this, in. this is the very last pack from this ETB, Chilling Rain. Nowadays these sets have over 200 cards when the back in the day was only 100. Yeah, um, this is why I've decided a master set of Fusion Strike is just not gonna happen. It's just not gonna happen for me. Um, I don't even think I'm gonna invest too much into, into Fusion Strike. It's got some really cool cards, but I'd rather just buy the cards I want outright than buying 20 booster boxes and not pulling it because the set is so large. So, yeah, I'm not too happy with Fusion Strike right now. I honestly think they're making the sets way too big and they're releasing them one after another after another. It's like, calm down, Pokemon. We're going broke. Give me some space. <laughs> Give me some space. Now to pull that gold Snorlax. If I pull the gold Snorlax, I'm not trading my Charizard tomorrow. Because I'm literally going to trade my Celebration Charizard for a gold Snorlax tomorrow. But if I pull it right now, I'm not doing it. <laughs> so let's see how it goes. We've already pulled a Rainbow and a VMAX, so I don't know. It's possible. We got... A justified gloves. Lucky energy. Maybe that'll give us the luck we need for the stinking shiny Snorlax. Porygon 2. Kubfu. Hatina. Sobble. Found Sweet. Furfru. Reverse Hollow. Expedition Uniform. And come on, please be the gold Snorlax. I will cry. Please, please, please. Oh, no, just an Ampharos, and it's not even hollow. <laughs> it's it's kind of golden. It's got yellow. Kind of golden. But, you know, not what we're looking for, so. I wanted Rayquaza alt art. Yeah, I think everyone does. <laughs> um, I actually have not pulled any significant alt arts from Evolving Skies yet. I actually want to go back to opening Evolving Skies after I'm done opening Celebrations, um, just because I love that set, but I haven't actually opened very much of it because I got caught up in Celebrations. Um, yeah, that, <laughs> that's just kind of what happened. But that is our ETB, guys. Um, we did get some, we got some hits, we got some hits. Let me... Let me pull out our hitters here. So from the Celebrations packs, we got Mew EX, Flying Pikachu V, Venusaur, and the Rocket Zapdos, which is pretty dang good for an ETB for just the Celebrations packs. And then we also got the Rainbow Bruno from Battle Styles. And we got this Diglett card could get off. We got a VMAX Cinescorch. So, 
not the like craziest ETB in the world, but not the worst ETB in the world. I will take it. All right, now the big boy, the Dragapult Prime box. I've not opened one of these yet, so very happy to finally open one. I actually got two of these um, because I'm hoping for one with really good centering on that promo card. Um, so let's just open this bad boy up. Um, sorry for packaging sounds when I'm opening this, but it's probably gonna be loud on my mic. Yeah, there we go. the Dragapult Prime. It comes with a binder. So let's put this aside for a second. We have the Jumbo card, which is nice. And then we have the binder. I forgot this was a thing. But that is cool. I don't know if I'll actually use it, but it's cool. Let's throw away the plastic. And I will definitely put this Dragapult Prime Jumbo card in my Jumbo card binder um, later on. And then we have more plastic to deal with. <laughs> um, how do I actually open this? Oh, from the back. Oh, there's our promo card. Whoop. So there's the tiny promo card, Dragapult. Um, let's put him in a sleeve. I want that box still cool looking. Yeah, the Dragapult Prime box is not one that's easy to get a hold of by any means. It's easier than the UPC, but not easy. But I, I managed to get one for you guys. We got that 25th giant coin. Pretty big. Here's the back. I wish these were made of metal, but they're plastic, but it's okay. And then dang, the Dragapult Prime box. I thought it had more packs. I thought we were dealing with like six packs. It comes with two celebrations and one vivid voltage. Is that really? It comes with three? Yeah. I guess because it comes with the binder. That's why it's so expensive. Man, I, I really thought that this box had more than three packs in it. Um, but I guess we'll just start with the Vivid Voltage since we were just opening other, um, other TCG packs. What is the UPC? The UPC is the Ultra Premium Collection Box. It is an expensive mother trucker. It costs $120. Um, and it has the Pikachu and Charizard Gold cards in it. Um, still trying to get one of those. It's very hard to find. Where do I get my product? I get my product from literally anywhere I can find it. <laughs> um, I, said, I said it earlier in the chat, but... Um, Targets, Walmarts, Barnes and Nobles, Best Buy, Pokemon Center, Walgreens. Where else have I gotten product from? Um, Dollar General. Um, everywhere sells Pokemon cards now. Doesn't mean it's easy to find, but literally everywhere sells Pokemon cards now. All right, guys. All right our one pack of Vivid Voltage. Let's see if it'll give us some magic. We got Trainer Beauty, Stone Energy, Shuckle, Cottony, Mudbray, Slugma, Wismer, <laughs> Execute, Reverse Hollow, Sandile, and come on, give us something. Ooh, that is a holographic 
Dancy. I actually don't think I have this one yet, so that's actually good for the master set. I don't think I have this card. That's very nice. Not a huge hit, but as long as I am getting cards that I need, then I am happy. Oh yeah, Circle K sells cards now too. It's crazy, like I said, everywhere sells cards. Circle K sells cards. It's a little ridiculous, but they do. All right, guys. Two packs of celebration. I honestly thought the Dragapult Prime box had more packs, um, but apparently not. Two packs. Hopefully, we'll get some Charizards in it. First pack. I pulled a rainbow Pikachu out of the Celebrations ETB a couple day, weeks ago. Dang, I would love to do that. I heard someone pulled um, the Darkness Ablaze VMAX Charizard out of a Celebrations ETB. I'm like, man, you guys are getting all the cool stuff. I don't get cool stuff out of, out of my ETBs from the regular TCG packs. Like, I got the rainbow Bruno, but it's not a chonky chew, <laughs> you know? But, you know, some people just get lucky. Some people don't. But I've been pretty lucky with the Celebrations packs, at least. So, that's at least something. Um, something to be positive about. Alright, first pack of Celebrations. One out of two. We got Lugia. Cosmog. Come on, come on, come on. Ooh! Rocket Trainer. Here comes Team Rocket. That's a good pull. That's a good pull, actually. I'm, I think I have one. I could be wrong, but I think I have one. But it's still a good pull. Can we get a double hit? Nope. Professor Steam Research. It's all right. I will sleeve the Rocket Trainer card. In the sleeve you go. Yeah, see, people are pulling the freaking Charizard VMAXs out of the Celebrations boxes. I haven't gotten anything good like that. I had to buy my VMAX Charizard from Darkness of Blaze and from uh, Champion's Path. I got the one from Shining Fates, but I couldn't pull the other two. Like, no matter how many packs open, so I just bought them. Because it's cheaper. <laughs> Alright, last pack from the Dragapult Prime box. Give us something. <laughs> I don't want to just buy a box just to have the freaking promo card. I'd like to actually get at least one hit out of this box. Hopefully. Yeah, the, the Charizard VMAX does not cost a lot of money. Um, I paid $50 for mine. He wanted, like, 70 but I, like, I was like, how about I meet you and you lower the price? <laughs> and he was like, okay, cool, I don't want to meet halfway, it's too far. <laughs> so I got a little bit of a discount on it. But it's, it's not perfect centering, but it's pretty clean. It might come out of PSA 10. PSA is a little more lenient on their 10s than CGC or Beckett. So... You know, it might happen. I would love a 10, 10, 10 set of all the VMAX Charizard variants. That'd be, that'd be beautiful. All right, last pack, guys. This might be the last pack of the night. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see if we get anything good. Groudon. Xerneas. ho -Oh. Come on, give me something. No dud pack! That entire Dragapult Prime box was trash! Boo! Boo, Dragapult Prime box sucked. <laughs> the only thing we got was the um, holographic Diancy, and that was it. And you know, I got the promo, I guess. The promo's pretty cool. Gotta have it for the master set, so. That's why I need that UPC, because I don't have a true master set of 
um, of celebrations without the UPC. I need the UPC. <laughs> um, should I open more boxes, guys? Should I open more boxes? I was actually expecting more packs. And the Dragapult Prime box didn't really have that many. What do you guys think? One more box? Or should I stop for the night? What's the promo card in the UPC? The UPC has four promo cards. <laughs> the UPC has two golden cards and then like two like yellow cards. But there's four of them in that thing. Yes, yes, one more, one more. Um, yes, yes, and yes. All right, fine. Give me 10 seconds. I'm gonna get up. I'm gonna go grab another box. Let's do a pin set, why don't we? Everyone likes the pin sets. in my chair. Uh, now when you say master set, do you mean McDonald's cards and WLL promos? Uh, I have a master set of all the McDonald's cards. Um, when I talk about master set for um, celebrations, it is just the celebrations cards though. Um, not every single car that's ever been branded with the 25th anniversary logo. This logo here. Because this logo was on the um, McDonald's cards. It was on the um, General Mills cards. Um, but I'm just talking about celebrations as a set. But I do have all of the McDonald's cards. Um, I have some of the General Mills cards. I don't have all of them. I have the Pikachu and I have the Ponyta and a couple others, but I don't have a master set of the General Mills ones. But the only card that actually has the 25th anniversary logo on it from the General Mills set was the Pikachu, which was weird, but you know, what can you do? I only wanted the Ponyta from that set, if I'm being honest. I didn't care about anything else. I just wanted the Ponyta. Um, but yeah, I'm not, I'm, I don't do master sets for every set. But I do want to open this pin set box. The Pikachu pin is like one of my favorites. If I'm being honest, I do love the Pikachu pin. Let's crack her open. Uh, two new followers, Geek Debu, and I'm sorry if I'm butchering all of your names, but a, a dancer, a Derner. I don't, I'm sorry, I butcher all names, but it, yeah, thanks for the follows. <laughs> um, let's slide out my box here. Look how much they butchered my box. It's all freaking crumpled and ruined. Um, I bought this box from Target Online and they just straight up shoved and crammed this pin set box into the, yeah, cause look at the, look at the pack. It's all, um, it's all wrinkled because they shoved this freaking box into the into the box. So I'm actually worried if the cards are gonna be in good shape or not. I hope so. I hope they're not bent or anything. One away from 2,000. Are you guys serious? Am I one away from 2,000? Am I gonna hit 2,000 on the stream? Who wants to be my 2,000th follower? <laughs> oh gosh, wait. Hold up. Let me open TikTok. Am I serious? Are you guys serious? I'm one away from 2000. Oh no, I'm at 2002. Bro, guys, <laughs> two more followers just came in. JMH and Keegan, thank you for the followers. I don't know who actually was the person who hit the, the actual 2000 mark, but that is awesome. I wasn't even paying attention to that. Man, we must've gotten a lot of followers during this stream. Thank you guys so much. You guys are the best. Doll Web, thank you for the follow. Yeah, goodness. We are hyping up this stream. All right, so four packs of celebrations. We got 
a pack of Chilling Rain and Vivid Voltage. We got our glorious, glorious pin, which I love because it's cute and reversible. And then we have our Zeeshion promo. And a lot of extra plastic, but there's our Zeeshion promo. Very cool. Put that in the sleeve. Um, yeah, but geez, guys, thank you for all the likes, all the follows. It really does, like, keep me motivated to keep, you know, producing content for you guys. It is, like, really fun, you know? To do live streams and hang out with you guys so it, everything is appreciated best thing about the set damn near is that pin this is the best pin they've ever produced I'm not gonna lie I have a whole pin hat behind me right here look I have a hat that I keep all my pins on I have all of the champions path pins I have the shining fates pins I have the Mega uh, T-Tar, I have some Hidden Fates pins up here, and then I have the Pikachu pin also on here. But this is my pin hat, and I love my pins. <laughs> I want to have all the pins. But I thought putting them on that hat was kind of cute. But, um, but yeah, cute little pin. I love the Pikachu pin. <laughs> Yeah, do you guys like my pin hat? It's pretty sick. It's pretty sick. <laughs> All right, let's actually get into getting some packs here. Four packs, celebrations, two normal TCG packs. Hopefully, it won't be a dud like the Dragapult Prime box. Check the smooshed pack. Yeah, let's actually open the smooshed one first. Um, these two are kind of wrinkled on the outside, but I think it was this one that got smooshed the worst so let's let's open this one hoping it doesn't have anything good in it just because it's smooshed it might just be the packaging but we'll see if the cards are actually damaged one more chance at golden snorlax yeah honestly i have a chilling rain booster box i just haven't opened it yet because i have so many other things to open on live but um i do have a booster box that i want to open eventually Okay, so looking at the cards, they don't actually look too damaged. I think they're like a little bit like curved, but like there's no creases, maybe a little bit of edging, but they're not terrible. So the smooshing did not hurt the cards, thankfully. It was just the packaging, really. Okay. Yeah, see, look, guys, it's like, the, the card is, the cards are fine, thankfully, like I said. All right, first pack out of this box. Celebrations. Let me adjust my camera, because it's not, like, centered. Let me center it for you guys. That is not better. <laughs> I, I think I made the centering of my cameras worse. That's as good as it can get. All right. <laughs> First pack. Let's get it. We got Palkia. We got Dialga. We got the Russia Ram. We got the Russia Ram. We got the Russia Ram out of the first pack. Do, 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 do. First pack magic. Oh, that's so great. Because I have the Zekrom and now I have the Russia Ram. Yes. Okay. Maybe, maybe a double hit? Nope, so Galio, that's fine. I don't care. I got my Russia Ram. And I'm happy, if you cannot tell by my little sing-song dance there. But I'm, I'm actually very happy. Um, I'm so close to that master set, I just need to pull another Charizard. It's like, goodness gracious. And the rush around, the centering's a little off, but it's not too bad. It's pretty okay. I will take it. I will take it. 
The Reshiram and the Zekrom look amazing. They're both really good cards. And then we just got the, you know, normal trash cards that no one cares about, too. <laughs> Reshiram's song burning up the charts. I am not a good singer, guys. Please don't call me out <laughs> on it. I'm, I just, no. <laughs> I just get excited for our new cards. <laughs> Um, second Celebrations pack. <laughs> looking for that Zard, looking for that Zard. Gosh, what do we need left out of this set? We just need the Zard, and we need Rayquaza. I'm sure I'm missing something, but I, we're like damn near at Master Set, guys. Maybe that's what I should do after I'm done opening this box, if you guys are interested. Maybe I can go through all of my cards and see how close I am to that master set. That would actually be, that'd be funny. Seeing if we are close or not to that master set. <laughs> Cover TikTok coming in hot. No, I'm not good at singing. <laughs> let's forget that happened. <laughs> oh, let's just distract, distract with pack openings, distract. We got Kyogre, <laughs> we got Xerneas. And we got the Zekrom! We got the Zekrom on the Reshiram back to back. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. That is so funny. This is my second Zekrom. Um, <laughs> you know I, you know I love my extra cards. Um, you know I love my duplicates. So that's awesome. <laughs> back to back. And underneath, maybe a double hit? Ooh, it's a Mew. I'll take Mew. It's not bad. <laughs> sing it? <laughs> no, I don't want to sing it. <laughs> you guys embarrass me. Let me pull out that freaking Reshiram and Zephyrom back together. <laughs> no, don't peer pressure me, moderator. You're supposed to be my friend. Fine. We got Zekrom and Russia Ramp. That's all you're getting. That's all the sing song you're getting. <laughs> Zekramon, Russia Ram, full art, back to back. Got it. Good. Sing, sing. You have a good singing voice? No, I do not. <laughs> I do not. Uh, do, do you know why some people think I have a good singing voice? It's because I was in band, so I'm not tone deaf. So I know how to make my very bad voice sound um, at least tolerable, because <laughs> I'm not tone deaf. But um, no, I was never in like choir or anything. They would probably kick me out with like their ears bleeding. I cannot sing. I can play the drums, but that's all I can do for you guys. Maybe I should play my drum set on stream once. That might be an interesting little thing to do one day. I'm not good at drums, but I can do it. What's your Twitch? My Twitch name and my TikTok name are the same. I am multi-streaming on both platforms right now. I'm streaming on Twitch and I'm streaming on TikTok. So whichever one you guys prefer, whatever platform you prefer, I stream on both. Um, I, I do TikTok, Twitch, Twitter, Instagram. That's where you can find Game Lobby at. Oh, you play the drums too, Keegan? Nice, nice. Yeah, I was a big nerd in high school and I was in marching band. Make fun of me now. But yes, I was a marching band nerd and I was in drumline. <laughs> it was actually fun though. No Instagram? Yes, no, I have, I have Twitter and Instagram. Um, I post my hits, and I post like product photos, all that stuff is on Instagram. YouTube coming soon. Um, I want to do YouTube, but YouTube is just like a big undertaking, um, so I haven't done it yet. Twitch, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram. You can find Game Lobby at those four places, and you can also find Oscar Darla, which is my art channel. Uh, you can find me there as well, because I do multi-platforming. I don't do cards. 
I don't do only cards. I do gaming and I do art. And I do a lot of different stuff because I have a lot of different hobbies. <laughs> but let's open this pack before I die. We got Groudon. <laughs> we got Reshiram. We got another Zekrom? What the hell? <laughs> what the hell? Three in a row? We got Reshiram and then Zekrom and then Zekrom? What is with this box? <laughs> what is with this box? What is with this box? <laughs> did we get a double hit? No, we did not. We got two Zekroms in a row, though. Ooh, what the heck? Unreal, unreal. And I'm not singing for you guys this time. <laughs> I sung for you twice. You don't get a third time. That is unreal. That is unreal. Zekrom, Reshiram, Zekrom. All the same box, back to back. What the heck? That, that's kind of weird, actually. If I pull a Reshiram or a Zekrom out of my next pack, I'm gonna scream. <laughs> that's why you pulled one? It was the song? Uh, oh, do my songs bring existence? <laughs> bring Reshram and Zekrom into existence? Well, I'm not gonna sing this time because I don't want another Zekrom. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> So, so strange. I don't think I've ever pulled back-to-back -back hits like that. That's really strange. Seeing in something cool would be in this pack. Let's hope for a Charizard. Need that Zard, I need that Zard. Bad, bad songs. Hate singing. <laughs> but peer pressure gets to me. All right, <laughs> last pack of celebrations. This is literally my last pack of celebrations for tonight. And then we have the Chile Rain with Vivid Voltage. Um, Cause I do have to go to sleep eventually. But, um, oh, I got a follower on Twitch. Thank you, Tide, for the follow. I missed the notification, but I, I see you in there. Thank you for the follow. All right. No, it's not gonna be Zekrom this time. It's not gonna be Zekrom. <laughs> It's gonna be Charizard. It's gonna be Charizard because I went through all the BS with singing. So it's gonna be Charizard. Dialga. Reshiram. Come on. Oh my god! <gasps> no way! I'm gonna cry. <laughs> no! It's the Zard! I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm de out of the last pack of celebrations for the day. Pokemon blesses us. <sighs> okay, guys, I guess the singing works. I guess the singing works. I I am I am I am on another planet right now. Oh my gosh. Maybe a double hit? How much luckier can we get? Zazamenta. I will take it. <laughs> you guys like my little rhyme scheme there? That was pretty nice. Well then. <laughs> yeah, we had a terrible Dragapult box. And then an amazing, amazing box from our pin set. What a beautiful way to end the freaking stream. <laughs> well, we still have some more time left in the stream, but that's our last pack of celebrations at least. Goodness. <laughs> oh, okay, so let's let's look at this bad boy a little bit. Centering left to right and top to bottom is slightly off. Um, same on the back, but it's not horrid. Um, it looks like the corners and everything look pretty good on it. 
Uh, yeah, the cut is really good on it. Um, but I have two Charizards. Where's my other one? Do I have my other one in my pull box right here? Um, Mew, Umbreon, Zekrom, Magikarp. Do, do, do. Oh, here it is. Yeah, so I have two Charizards. You guys can let me know which one you think is better. I actually think the one we just pulled, um, the one on the right, I think the one on the right is better centering. You guys can let me know, but I think the one we just pulled is better. Uh, Kirillus, you're leaving. Oh, thank you for joining, though. Very, very happy to have you guys in the stream. We still got a little bit more stream left. We got some, some other TCG packs to pull, but very happy to have two Zards. And now I don't feel guilty for trading away this one anymore. Because <laughs> I was going to trade away my other one for a um, Chilling Rain Snorlax. But... I do have a Chili Rain pack here. So if this has the Snorlax, I don't even need to do that. So, I don't know. This box has already been hitting for us pretty hard, so we'll see. Wow, guys. I am, I, whew, yeah. Let's open the Vivid Voltage first. Because everyone's so hyped for the chilling rain to hopefully get the Snorlax. Let's let's save it for the very last. Maybe we can pull a rainbow from my from my dear friend Vivid Voltage. That'd be nice. I need I need almost all of the rainbows still from Vivid Voltage. <laughs> Sing for good packs seeing for Snorlax. Oh no, now this is gonna be a thing though. You guys are gonna make me sing like every stream now, aren't you? That's gonna, um, I regret, I have regret. <laughs> Everything is regret. One, two, three, and four. If it works, it works. Yeah, maybe it's our, it's our positive energy. It's not even about the singing. It's about the positive energy, right? That's what it's really about. We already pulled the Zard. There's not much better we can do, but I don't know. We'll see. Come on, Vivid Voltage. Metang. Kakuna. Moo Moo Cheese. Club Fairy. Tynamo, Milkery, Galarian Meowth, Chimeco, ooh, Reverse Hollow Zekrom to match all those Zekroms you were just pulling out of freaking celebrations. That's actually really cool. I'm not sure if I have that one yet. Going in the master set. And hopefully a rainbow. Hopefully a rainbow. Whoop. Ooh, not a rainbow, but a VMAX. I will take that. Age slash VMAX. I will take it. Man, this Zekrom box is hitting. Or Zacian, not Zekrom. Zacian box. But yeah. That's a song hit? No. I. It's not about the singing, it's about the positivity. I keep telling you guys. But, you know, it's fine. <laughs> I am running out of sleeves. I need to buy more sleeves. Oh my goodness. We're hitting so many packs tonight that I'm running out of sleeves. I'm so glad I did a stream tonight. I wasn't going to do a stream tonight, but now I feel good about it. Okay. Chilling rain. Chilling pain. The last pack of the night. <sighs> Chilling rain gives me pain. Want to die from chilling rain. Hopefully, get that Snorlax. So I do not cry. The only hit I have from 
uh, from Chilling Rain is I have a VMAX Calyrex, uh, like Shadow Rider, and that's it. <laughs> oh, I have the I have the Golden Viking helmet too, but I like Chilling Rain hates me. So does Battle Styles for that matter. <laughs> So, hopefully, we'll actually get something. I have a feeling, guys. Every single pack from this box has been a hitter. So, I mean, it can't fault us now on the last pack magic. It can't. That wouldn't be a thing. Hopefully. Hopefully. We'll get the snow. That would make me very happy, actually. Open the packs for Snorlax. <laughs> Funny packs. Funny puns. <laughs> Alright, we're ripping it. Get in the Snorlax. Old Cemetery. Impact Energy. Porygon 2. Galarian Farfetch'd. Furfru. Venipede, Spiel, Crab Brawler, we got Reverse Hollow past the peak. I want you guys to put all your energy out for this last card. I, I want it to be Snorlax so badly for you guys, because if it's Snorlax, it's going to be like a monumentous stream moment. <laughs> so I, I need all the hype in the chat I can get right now, because this stream's already been crazy. We pulled the Charizard, first of all. Like... And we pulled like four other cards that I needed from celebrations. So we we hitting it tonight. I have a good feeling about this last pack. Hopefully it's not a dud pack, because it could be. But I'm hoping. <laughs> oh goodness. Alright. Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. Come on, chilling rain. Don't give me the pain. No, spirit's home! <laughs> no! <laughs> All right, it looks like I'm still doing that trade for the Snorlax. Wah, wah, wah. It's okay, it's okay. It's all right, guys. We had one dud pack out of the entire box. I can't argue. I literally can't argue. That Zacian pin set box gave us the Zard. You didn't sing for the last pack? I did sing. I said, chilling rain, don't give us the pain. I did sing. You must have missed it. I did sing. A real spirit tomb. <laughs> so funny. You're so funny, moderator. You're so funny. Why did I make you my moderator again? <laughs> All right, guys. So, yeah, we pulled... This is the Zard we pulled today, but now we have two, which is awesome. Uh, I just kind of want to go through all my major hits that I've pulled from this set. And, like, I've pulled some duplicates. Um, but this is my fat stack of freaking cards. Um, so we got Zekrom. <laughs> Reshiram. Another Zekrom. Rocket Zapdos. Mew EX, Flying Pikachu V Max, and Venusaur. Those are our pulls from today. Also, also the Charizard, like I said. Those are our pulls from today. These other pulls are pulls that I pulled on other streams. Professor's Research, Shiny Magikarp, Birthday Pikachu, Surfing Pikachu V Max, Blastoise. We got another Surfing Pikachu VMAX, another Birthday Pikachu, Mew EX, Pikachu VMAX is actually a promo card that I got um, from the VMAX Pikachu box. Uh, we got Dark Gyarados, we got the Mewtwo EX, we got Shiny Magikarp again, another Zekrom. <laughs> We got Mew EX again. I guess I have three of these. I didn't, or maybe two. I don't know. And then we got the we got the final three big hitters. 
You think I'm flexing now? I'm about to flex even harder. Umbreon. Golden Mew. Charizard. <laughs> That's my flex. That's my flex. Um, yeah, I think... Let me look... Like, I want to look it up real quick. Because um, based... I just went through all of my hits, right? All, all my hits right here. You guys can let me know, but I think the only card I'm really missing is the Rayquaza, right? Let me pull out my keyboard here. Uh, celebrations set list. Celebrations card list. If my website could load any slower. <laughs> Uh, what's your guys' favorite evolution? Um, Umbreon for sure. For sure. I love Sylveon too. I love all of them, honestly. But, um, definitely Umbreon. I know that's like the fan favorite, but Umbreon is just really cool. Come on, web browser. I want to see how close I am to my master set. I haven't built my master set yet. Alright, here we go. Um, so we have all the Pikachus, we have the Commons, we have the VMAX Pikas, we have the Zacian Zazamenta cards, we have the Mew, we have the Blastoise Charizard, Dark Gyarados, Pikachu, Cleffa. Ooh, I- okay, so here's the cards I'm missing. I don't have the Gardevoir EX, I don't have Claydol, I don't have Luxray, I thought I pulled Garchomp. Am I imagining that? I thought I pulled Garchomp. Or did I just not put it in a hard case and I put it in a regular case? There's the Cleffa. There's the Dorfan. There's all my promos. Okay, I do have Garchomp. Yes, I have Garchomp. Yeah, so I don't have Luxray, I don't have Claydol, I don't have Gardevoir. Um, I don't have the Xerneas, the Rayquaza, and the Tapu Lele. So one, two, three, four, five, six cards. No, seven cards, because I don't have the Groudon either, damn. Okay, so we're seven cards away from the master set, guys. Seven cards away. Um, honestly, I, I do have quite a few doubles in here. I might just trade for the cards I don't have at this point. Um, <laughs> that's just probably what I'll do. But I at least have all of the big hitters, you know. Charizard, Mew... Umbreon. Those are the big ones that matter. So, I got all the big ones. Alright, I'm just gonna put my little, my little, uh, Mew and Charizard out on display here for you guys. Um, because I like flexing. Uh, <laughs> but yeah. Seven cards, and then we're, and then we got it. Um, I'm very happy with that. <sighs> but it is almost midnight <laughs> where I live, and I do need sleep eventually. So I think I'm going to wrap up the stream here, unfortunately. Um, let me switch over to my face cam on Twitch. Yeah, okay. So, uh, thank you guys so much for the stream. This was, like, a really, really good stream. <laughs> I mean, we pulled the Charizard, which is awesome. But we also got to 2,000 followers on TikTok during this live stream. Um, and we also had um, some follows on Twitch. So, this was a really good stream, and I just want to thank you guys. Um, I think... And I can't guarantee when my next stream will be, 
I want to stream more often. I don't stream every day. I usually stream once or twice a week. Uh, but I want to start streaming more often. I want to start streaming gameplay. Um, I want to play White Version 2 with you guys. Um, just because I don't, I don't have enough Pokemon product to open Pokemon every single day. Uh, it's just not feasible for me because I don't have infinite money. <laughs> I wish I could, you know, do Pokemon every day, but I cannot. But I want to do other streams with you guys. I want to maybe do some card organization streams. Um, you know, just like chill streams so I can like chat with you guys because that's fun. Um, but little end card promo. Um, and before I do that, I got another follow. Hawaii BKC, thank you for the follow right at the end of the stream. Very much appreciated. Um, we're actually making our way to affiliate on Twitch, um, which is very nice. I'm very happy to finally hit that milestone. We're not quite there yet, but we're almost there. So if you guys want to follow me on Twitch, any, any of you guys from TikTok, follow me on Twitch. Help me hit affiliate um, so we can start, you know, getting, getting better stuff on Twitch. Um, but um, if you guys don't know, uh, Game Lobby is on Twitch, TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. Um, and different stuff goes up on different platforms. So if you want to see all of my content, you got to follow all my platforms. Um, and then I also have an art channel. Um, moderator, please, please tag Oscar Darla in the chat um, for me. Oscar Darla is my art channel. Um, commission's always open. I do Twitch emotes. I do Pokemon drawings. I do full illustrations of basically whatever I like drawing. <laughs> Um, so that's at Oscar Darla. Again, I'm on TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, all the platforms for both art, Oscar Darla, and gaming, Game Lobby. So those two uh, platforms. Um, hopefully you get successful enough to stream and get unlimited happiness and money. That would be the dream. That would be the dream. Um, because again, it, like if I ever do start making money from the channel, I'm pouring it back directly into the channel with better equipment, more cards, rarer cards, vintage cards, Japanese cards. All the money generated from this channel, if I ever get money, will go right back to supporting the channel for better content for you guys. That is 100% the plan. Um, but yeah. I am tired now, so I'm going to go to bed. <laughs> but again, thank you guys so much for all the support for this stream. Follow all my platforms. And I guess I'll see you guys next time. Definitely, definitely see you guys next time. Bye. Yeah, next time in the lobby. Little end card. We'll see you next time in the lobby. <laughs> yeah, seriously though. See you guys. Thank you all for the all for the stuff. <laughs>